what you got there? Oh, hi, Olivia. I got the new Karen Doll rap CD. Do you want to hear it? Karen Doll has a new rap? Put it in! Awesome! Kendall, Kendall, what you get to say? Lay down some rounds with these beats that I play. You better get ready for some awesome reviews. Kato coming at you with all the latest news. I got dolls, plushies, and pets to come alive. If you want to keep up, then you better subscribe. I'm back from Moito Hunt. I got a big haul. A lot more goodies to share with you all. More videos are coming because I ain't no quitter. Make sure you follow me on Facebook and Twitter. For cool surprises, click that bell icon and keep coming back to find out what's going on. Hey, all oh, Karen Doll here again. So get, get on, on the ball, ball and, and watch, watch Karen Doll. Hi all, Karen Doll coming at you. Long time no see. Um, yeah, things have been a little crazy, so I haven't really done a vlog. I have been trying to get some videos up, though, of reviews. I think I finally finished my folder from my reviews I did back in March. So I have to work on May and... Reviews I did in May and reviews I did in July, I think it was. So, so far, um, like I said, things have been a little crazy. Um, a little over a month ago, I actually started a new job. I know I shared with you, oh, back in the fall, I'd started a new job. I've been just trying to find some place where I can do a lot with my skills. I have, I've been in the social service field. I think I've mentioned for many, many years now. Um, I actually started at a federally funded community health clinic. Um, not too far from where I was working, there's two different offices. I'm working as their integrated behavioral health care manager. That is a mouthful, let me tell you. Basically the long and short of what, of what I'm doing, um, especially, basically still along the lines of what I've done over the years, getting people hooked up to resources, following up to make sure they're doing all their medical care, all that fun stuff. So over the past month, uh, it's been about five weeks now. Um, been kind of just learning my role with that. Not that it's too different from what I usually do, but I've had to learn some new systems and new rules and all that fun stuff, and I'm still learning. So, um, but I'm really, really enjoying it, loving it. As you can see, I have my little kitty scrubs on today. So that's another bonus. I get to wear scrubs now. They're actually very comfortable, and I didn't have to worry about ordering more dress clothes. So that's a definite positive there. There's also been some, um, health issues with some of my family members, so handling that as well. So needless to say, blogs have been a little neglected. As I've mentioned before with you guys, I don't do this full time. It's more of a little bit of a hobby, just sharing some stuff with you and all that. So my goal is to really, really get back on track. Um, what's funny is with football season starting here, pretty much Sunday, Monday, and Thursdays, my butt's on the couch watching football. So I will probably be doing a lot more editing and so on at that point. Um, Bob and I have been tossing around some other um, movie ideas we would like to do. So um, I'm looking into different um, filming programs right now. I'm looking into different lighting. Um, I'm thinking about trying to get um, an LED light to put on my camera. So I'm kind of researching and looking into that, like watching what other YouTubers use to kind of get an idea of what to look for to maybe help with the lighting in some of the videos. And you guys know I film my vlogs on my laptop, so and I kind of forgot to turn my one light on, so it might be a little dark this time. I'm just, I just got home from work like a half hour, no, I just got home from work about 10 minutes ago. I left work a little over a half hour ago. So I'm kind of tired. It's Friday, August 10th. I'm, I'm beat. Um, like I said, it, a little bit more of a steadier shift there. I don't have as much flexibility, but and sometimes I'm there late, especially if patients come in before closing, because with it being a walk-in clinic as well, we can't turn people away. So it happens, like some days I'm there an hour later than planned because something comes up. So like I said, um, things seem like I, I'm settling in more. Um, probably the big thing's gonna be the next couple months, I'm probably gonna get busier at work. So I'm hoping I can still keep up on everything, get reviews posted for you. I, we still have a few, we, I should say me. I have a few more movies to edit for you guys. And then Bob and I are saying about working on a few more things. So uh, stay tuned for all that. I still got to do my giveaway. I apologize. I just have not looked for another site to do um, 
the giveaway log login for you guys to log into. You, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. The site I used to use. Um, sorry, my one box I'm going to share with you is kind of falling over. They are no longer around. I haven't checked recently to maybe see if they're back up and running because it was a real, real, real simple site. So um, I just need to look and find another, um, excuse me, site to do the giveaway. So that will be coming. I still have the Shopkins lunchbox things, like I said, with the stickers. So those will be given away. Um, like I said, I just got to find a giveaway site or figure out how I'm going to do the giveaway. I'm going to adjust this here a little bit. So it's not so much in the background with my pillows hanging out for when I take my naps on the weekends because I do like my downtime on the weekends, even though I want to be busy this weekend, try to get some things done. So that's kind of where that's at. Like I said, um, just I have a lot of editing to do. I have been trying to put up a lot of videos recently. I still have um, more of the blind bag videos to do because I think we did 40, between 40 and 60 of those. And we did those a year ago in July. So I'm still working on those. I think I have about 20 or so more to edit, but kind of once that's done, I'm not, I'm not going to do a blind bag box anymore. If I find some blind items, like um, sometimes I'll just do a random video where I pick up a bunch of blind item stuff and do with you guys, you know, I'll do that, but I'm not going to do the box anymore because those videos don't seem, sometimes they go over, sometimes they don't. Like I said, a lot of the stuff I bought, like I said, those videos were over a year ago in July. And a lot of those bags I bought were on clearance. So also there's some items you're not probably going to be able to find, like those, but you might find other seasons currently. And like I said, I always say I have a love-hate relationship with blind bags. It's like, it's kind of like Christmas morning, like you're excited to see what you get, but then you kind of get disappointed when it's something you don't want. <laughs> so um, like I said, I'll probably still pick up some here and there. Um, really have not done a toy hunt probably since Toys R Us closed. So I think my last vlog, which was back in like June, well, yeah, I think it's because I think it's been about two months. Um, that was kind of my last shopping haul I did. Um, just really, um, sorry, my phone is vibrating like crazy next to me. I checked like Walmart when I've been there grocery shopping and I know my Walmart I frequent doesn't seem like it has some things. I mean, about the only cool things I did see recently were like the Jurassic World movie, the new movie toys that were out, but I, those have been out for a while. Um, I did see at my Walmart the other day, they did have the Potty Dance Baby Alive. Um, they were like 50. So it's something I'm probably going to look into, but I'm, this sounds terrible. I'm waiting for Black Friday to get here on some things as well. But, <coughs> excuse me. I'm adjust and get an extreme close up as my one box falls over. Um, haven't been to Target recently, so I would maybe like to try to hit Target here in the next couple weeks. Um, like I said, it's just been since Toys R Us has closed. I have not really been in too much of a mood to look. And like I said, Walmart's been kind of disappointing for me. Um, trying to think like the My Life ass stuff, most of it has been picked over, even though I have three items to share with you, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. Um, like I said, I did see the one new baby alive. Um, there is a, I shouldn't say a ton. There are several new, um, oh my God, I just, the fingerlings. I drew a total blank. Um, they've had a couple different fingerlings. Um, what did I see the other day? I know they have little dinosaur ones. They're not called fingerlings. They're called something else. Same price as fingerlings, same concept. They're kind of cute. I might get one to check out. And then they had... Oh my God, they had another animal there and I don't remember what it is. I was, and I literally was just there on Monday and I total blank, but, um, they sold the monkeys. I haven't seen the sloth though, but I got my, I got one. So I'm happy with that. And they had the unicorns and then they had, oh my God, I almost want to say a pig, but I'm not, I don't even think that's right. But they had another type of animal at Walmart there. And I, I'll be darned if I can remember what it is. But like I said, um, they had like the dinosaur ones, but they're not called fingerlings. They're called something else. I can't remember what. Same price though, 15 bucks. I might just get one just to check out to see, you know, what noises they make. It's, I think I read it was like dinosaur noises and all that. Um, my life house was pretty much picked over. I'm trying to think where I didn't really see too much with um, Hatchimals. Like I have like found like zero of the new stuff that was supposed to be coming out that I talked about in the previous vlog. So like I said, I'm hoping maybe next month because, 
you know, Christmas is like four months away that, you know, some of that stuff will be picking up more. And like I said, I haven't been to Target recently. I'm trying to think if I've seen anything else. And like nothing, nothing sticking out for me. I mean, I did find um, Bob collects like the Hot Wheels, Monster Jams and Hot Wheel cars and that they had a couple new um, Monster Jam cars I did pick up the other day for him. Um, I did pick up, I don't know where it went to. Um, they had the little flip -a zoos the stuff ones on sale, clearance for like a buck. And had this really cute one that was a shark. I can't remember what the other part of walrus or seal or something. But I love the shark was cute, so I just bought it for that. But like I said, I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot. Hope, like I said, hopefully things are going to pick up here with the holidays beginning. Um, I am going to share a couple things with you because, like I said, I haven't since I haven't been keeping up. But like I said, I really haven't done a shop recently, so I'm going to step away for one second because my one box fell on the floor. So hold on. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so what I did, I actually ordered three items off of Walmart online. I subscribe to a blog newsletter. It's called Crazy Coupon Lady. Um, it's these couple of women who find like deals and all that. Well, one of the letters came through, and this was probably about a month ago that um, three of the My Life items I was, well, actually I'm lying. One of the items I definitely had said about in a previous video I wanted to get was on clearance. And they had a couple other items that were on clearance, you know, very good deal. So I ended up getting all three. So I got the, I don't know well you'll be able to see it, the My Life S Cabana set. And I think I got this for under $10. So I was like, yeah, it's cool. I actually kind of like it. Like I said, I haven't opened it yet because I'm going to do it on camera with you guys. So I did get that. And then this was an item I had mentioned, actually I just posted the video where I said about it recently, the aquarium place up for My Life As. The My Life As picnic table, because I had said I had seen this, I've been wanting to get it. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it. It was on, so I know it was $20. It wasn't quite 50% off. So it was like 11 or $12, but I, like I said, I love it. Thought it was cute, so I decided to get it. And then they also had the My Life As flower stand. Um, I can't remember how much this was originally. I think I paid 14 or 15 for it. But I, I also thought it was cute and everything. So, you know, since I want to try to get back into doing more movie stuff and all that. So I thought these were great, some great items. I did check on Walmart's website a couple weeks ago. I was kind of looking to see what they had on clearance. And they had... They had some additional My Life as stuff on clearance. I'm hoping to get it because there was a couple things like I definitely have not seen in the store. Oh, I'm going to adjust this again. I feel like I'm off center. But um, yeah, because they had some of the dolls on clearance. Um, I think what was on like a dining room set. I can't remember what else was on there, but it was there was like four or five things I put in my cart and it was coming to about $60, but I haven't um, ordered it yet. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted all of that or not. So I have to go back and review that. The nice thing is with Walmart, you can get free two-day shipping if you spend it's either $35 or $37. It's, I can't remember exactly how much it is. Which, honestly, if you can find some stuff on clearance, it's easy to do. You know, because you can get a few things and get the free two-day shipping to your home. But if it's under that, you can get shipped to the store if you've done I've done that before. It, it doesn't. Um, sometimes it doesn't take as long. It's... It works really, really well. So, um, have picked up those items, and then I have gotten some games since I last talked to you. I think I did mention in my vlog, but I can't remember if I showed you or not. I did get the new God of War for PlayStation 4. I bought this as part of my birthday gift to me. I always buy myself a something I want every year, so I got this and an air fryer. Because last year I got myself my Julie doll from American Girl Dolls. Um, I'm actually holding off on doing any American Girl Dolls right now. There's a couple I want to get, but with Christmas coming up, um, one of the malls, it's about an hour from me, usually has a American Girl, store, American Girl doll store. <laughs> Say that three times fast, guys. There, and it comes in like, like the end of October. I wanted to go last year and unfortunately financially could not do it. Time-wise, couldn't do it, so um, this year I want to try to go, so I'm trying to put money back because um, 
I think there's, oh goodness, last I checked, like seven or eight dolls I want to get, which I won't get them all at once, but I just thought too, it would be kind of cool to go to the actual store and check it out. So kind of why I didn't get myself a doll this year. So I got myself a game and an air fryer instead. Then um, around my birthday as well, because you know, get money, got to spend it. So I actually got um, two other games. Actually, I have more here. I'll show you. Um, I'm going to be showing my age with this one. It's the Atari Flashback Classics Volume 2. These are kind of the games Bob and I grew up on playing video games. And it's actually kind of cool, even though there's some of these games on here we've never heard of. And we can't figure out how to play them, which is funny. Um, but we sit there and play this from time to time. And it's a little bit easier. Because sometimes with those old Atari joysticks, they were so stiff you couldn't um, move them right. So it's kind of nice using the PlayStation uh, remote to do it instead. Um, Bob actually still has his old Atari, but we don't have a television we can hook it up to anymore. And there's actually a volume one of that um, I want to get as well because there's a few games on there that we play and we would. Um, I know he would like to have. So I do have that on my, I think I have it on my watch list somewhere with um, GameStop. So I think it uses like 20 bucks, which isn't bad. And then I also got this Horizon Zero Dawn. I have not played this yet. Um, the only reason I grabbed this is um, the GameStop I stopped at because I had a coupon for 50 or I had a coupon for something off a game for my birthday and it was going to expire. So I was kind of looking, even though I like didn't know what I wanted to get because I have a list of games I'm looking at, but I'm so... I want to find videos and more reviews on them to see if it's something I would like. And the sales clerk was asking me, you know, talking to me, seeing if there's anything specific I like doing, like playing, you know, what games. And I said, you know, I like the God of War, you know, the game, you know, games along those lines, Final Fantasy, and all that. And he goes, you got to check this out. He goes, it's very good. And it's a female main character. And he was just kind of talking about, so it's very open world, kind of like the way um, the new God of War is in um, Skyrim. If you guys have played that, I've only played, I have it for my PlayStation 3, but I've only played it like once. And technically the copy I played was my nephew's and then he got me a copy that is still in the plastic. So that's how bad I get sometimes with games. Like I probably have several games still in the plastic. So um, he said the graphics on this were, was pretty good. Um, he said he was feeling if it wasn't for the new Zelda game on the Switch that this might've gotten game of the year. So, like I said, I haven't played it yet. I have it, you know, downloaded and ready to go. So, I'm curious to play it. I mean, he was filling me in a little bit on it. It, it was a used game because I usually buy a lot of these used. Well, except my God of War was new. Um, so, I got to check that out yet. And then, because I renewed my the GameStop membership thing, you know, where you get the magazine, I got a coupon for buy two used games, get one free. Well, um it was going to expire, I think, the end of June or something. So I stopped in and I picked up Dead Alliance. It's supposed to be some sort of an army zombie type game. I had actually been looking at this several times. I have not played it yet. This is going to be a theme with all three of these last games. But um, you guys know I like my zombie games. So and it just sounded like it would be kind of cool. So, um, oh, I guess I should talk about the ratings on these. Well, since I have Dead Alliance here, it's rated M. For mature um, maximum games, so um, yeah, it just looked kind of cool. I figured, well, we'll check it out. It says it's one player, you know, so we'll see. I like my zombie games, so how bad can it be? Um, and then I got this game, Prey. It's also rated M for mature blood language, use of alcohol and violence. Just so you know. Uh, this is made by Akron Studios and Bestia, if I could say it right. So, um, I kind of looked up some stuff on this and it sounded kind of interesting. So I was like, well, we'll give it a try and see. And then the last one, and I'll go over the ratings for the ones I just showed you. I got Dishonored 2, rated M, same, same, um, people that make, same ones that made this game. Um, I actually do have the first one for my PlayStation 3. I haven't played it. so. But this one just looked kind of cool. And I, I, I've i seen some previews in that with this. So I was thought, oh, what the heck? Um, oh, it's actually, I was looking for the disc. And it's actually in there because I was downloading the stuff to it. Um, so, oh, I just saw this. This has a reverse cover. Nice. 
So um, I just saw a lot of stuff with this. I think my nephew likes to play these a lot too. So um, going back to the first three I did, um, the Horizon Zero is rated teen and it's Gorilla. It looks like that makes this. Show you the back here because the graphics look pretty cool. So if you guys played, if you guys have played any of these games, you know, let me know in the comments below. Um, the Atari Flashback Classes Classics is rated E, and it's I guess Atari. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. And this has like 50 games on it. Um, yeah, like I said, several of them aren't. Oh, what's cool with this? I should have mentioned. You have some where you can play the arcade version which is, they're a little bit different than the system version. So, um, which I thought was kind of neat with that. And like I said, I, it was 12 bucks. <laughs> so I thought if anything, well, if we don't like it, mainly I bought this because Asteroids is on it and Bob loves to play Asteroids and Missile Command was on here. Those are the two main ones we've been playing and we've been trying to figure out some of the other ones. So, and then God of Wars, Rated M, Santa Monica Studios. I've probably talked about this. Love this game. I, I had read it before I purchased it because um, a lot of these PlayStation games are so expensive. And it's like, yeah, I don't want to pay $60 for when a, when a game comes out. But this, I just, I couldn't wait for it to go down in price. And like I said, for my birthday, I'm like, you know what? I'm getting it. So, but I actually, it sounds terrible. I have not played it since I got it. So, um, with, with the weather getting weather's going to be changing here soon and that's so I'll probably be playing some more games other than when I'm not watching football and that during the winter and fall you know those times of the year so um I think that's about it I do have to do my split my PlayStation 3 uh show you all my games and everything with you guys but like I said that's going to be a little bit of a well this vlog's running long but that one's going to probably be a little bit of a longer video so um I'm not sure I got it I have to drag all my games because I, I think I told you guys I have close to like 100 games. I mean, I have some duplicates in that in there, but um, yeah, I'll share those with you at some point. I'm still, like I said, we're still exploring. I'm trying to figure out new lighting, um, new program. going to try to explore a little bit further, um, try to figure out how to videotape, get some gameplay um, when I'm playing. Um, I got to start playing some stuff again, but that's, that's a whole other story. So I'm trying to, trying to figure out all these pieces right now. And hopefully, um, I'll have a lot more time. I keep thinking I'm going to have time and stuff keeps coming up. So hopefully God willing, things will be calm in my life and I can do all this, but, uh, stay tuned. More reviews are going to be coming. Shout outs are going to be coming. I know a couple people are like, they wanted a shout out. I'm like, stay tuned. I'm still going through my list. I actually have to rewrite my list because the one page tore out. So I want to rewrite it before I lose it because I don't want to lose it because there was, the page was rather full with all the shout outs I had on it. So I actually want to rewrite my shout out list. Um, if it looks like I'm not going to have a lot of videos coming, I might just do a, in my one vlog, I might just start doing some shout outs there, but I'm hoping enough stuff. Um, I'll be picking up stuff. Like I said, I want to do some review with my games and all that. So I think there'll be enough videos coming, but I think that is it. going to try to keep up with the vlogs a little bit more, but like I said, um, haven't been really doing too many shopping, too much shopping. Um, like I said, that stuff I all ordered online um, and just other things going on. So if there's not much of a update to tell you guys, I'm not going to do a vlog. Um, hopefully soon um, I'll be able to get the giveaway video up. Um, trying to think, I, I know last Christmas I did a big giveaway there. So i am got to see if I'm going to plan on doing that again as well and what I'm going to do for that. Um, I know I've had a request to do something with American Girl giveaway, but I'm waiting until I get more subscribers with that. And then, you know, obviously still trying to reach the 500 mark. Sorry, I'm hitting my table, which is hitting, which is tilting the laptop. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's going to be giveaways coming. Um, you know, if there's something you want me to maybe give away, let me know in the comments. I'll look into it, especially if it's a little pricier. I might say, okay, once I hit this many subscribers, we'll you know, give it away. So like I said, um, I'll be doing the Shopkins giveaway with those, uh, lunch boxes. I'm going to set a goal. Today's the 10th. So let me look at a calendar. Let me see. 10th. I will make sure I have it up by the latest, the 31st, cause that'll be Labor Day weekend. 
and I'll have a three-day weekend. So I know for sure I'll have a little extra time in there because unfortunately I can't take any vacation time with just starting a job. But um, that will be my goal. So that'll give me, I know this weekend I'm sitting to research um, some things that I told you about, you know, with my lighting and all that. So I will try to look in for a giveaway website and see about getting that all set up as well. But uh, that is it because this is going extremely long. Hence, maybe it's better if I do it once a month. So I have a lot to tell you guys. So that is it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe bell icon so you know when I know post new content. Also help share my page. 500 will be that big giveaway. More giveaways will be coming, I promise. Subscribers, thank you. You're awesome. Love you all. Please keep coming back for more. New subscribers, welcome aboard. I hope you're enjoying. Leave a comment if you want a shout out. Leave a comment if there's something out there you want me to review. Like I said, you guys leave comments. I try to interact. So, you know, no worries with that. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.